this lady who's based in Canada and uh, she's telling me about the fact that nowadays in Canada, they are teaching children about transgenderism and they're taking money even for this. Now, to be honest with you, I don't have any problems with transgenders, those people who are transgenders. However, I wonder how appropriate it is to confuse children who already have enough confusion about you have 100 different genders, you can be a boy if you want, you can be a girl if you want. I think that is very unnecessary when people tell them all this. Okay? Anyway, that's my thinking. You can tell me what you think. Uh, this was sent to me by one gentleman. Don't want to take his name. He said, just to mention in your video, I didn't receive my salary in 2019 and he is celebrating National Day. I'm sure there'd be so many other people who haven't received their October salary as well. At least they should have some respect for us on National Day. Uh, the point is very simple. UAE is a country, well, obviously, they will, they will celebrate the National Day. Uh, you have a problem with your employer and you need to take it up with your consulate, your embassy and the newspaper. See, this is the problem in Dubai. Um, many companies don't pay their salaries on time. And if you ask for it, well, then they say, well, okay, then resign with your papers. That's a reality. Um, so another guy he sends me this. He said, Lloyd, a school teacher in Sarja is offering uh, tuitions and she's also offering special services. Uh, in this, he mentioned there are cars lining up on her gate from 10 p.m. I thought for sister lie. Uh, please don't show my ID or show the name of the school directly. Um, you know. Well, she is making money teaching children. She is making money the other way. Well, what do I say? Uh, people have to survive. Anyway. Okay, the next one that I got is, uh, this is a YouTube follower of mine. He said that he's been friends with a guy uh, who has been in UAE for 30 years. He's British. But he worked for uh, this Deals on Wheels. Okay, he worked for Deals on Wheels. And uh, he being a salesman, he sold a car. And uh, the person who sold the car never got the car. And instead of putting a case on the owner of Deals on Wheels, they ended up putting this guy in jail, who's a staff member. And he even shared a video link of, uh, there's a video on Twitter, Floyd Mayweather endorsing this dealership. So he has sent me the letter and he has written to The Guardian uh, about what has happened, um, you know, fighting for justice for his friend. So, you know, it's it's really sad that if this is true and this is happening. But like I told you, anyway, there are a lot of loopholes in the system and a lot of people, um, they are, you know, they are the ones who suffer. Okay. Uh, reading out a couple of messages from my YouTube fans, followers, haters, whatever. This one is from Mirna Adham. She says, all of these are lies. Stop sharing fake news about UAE. Um, the thing is, I give you links from newspapers. I'm reading what they share. So you need to in speak to Bloomberg. You need to speak to Financial Times. Uh, you need to speak to Gulf News and College Times because I read what they put. So Reuters, please get in touch with them. If they, whatever they publish is what I share and I give my analysis. So you can catch them. Next one, Ali M says, I'm confused. These are channel about slandering the UAE and the Muslims or personal branding. It's actually personal branding because that's my bread and butter. Uh, and my channel is not about slandering UAE. My channel is sharing the news facts that is actually mentioned in the papers. And it is what an expatriate cannot share in UAE. If you're in UAE, you can't talk anything negative of UAE. If you don't believe me, try that. Speak on a drawback or speak on a ruler and you'll come to know uh, whether you can or cannot. So then he says, what does that say about your personal branding? What does that say? It says that this guy has the guts and courage to speak the truth. Or it might say also, like what you said, this guy speaks bad about you. You can take it both the sides. It's up to you. If you're my client, uh, you'll cherry pick what benefits you. If you're not my client, whatever you say, it doesn't matter. Please make me understand what your channel represents. If you didn't get it, then you shouldn't follow my channel. Thank you. Well, I hope that answered your question. Farah Mohammed says, why share lies about UAE? I don't share lies. I give you the links. To refer the links. I share with you the screenshots. So if you feel what I'm saying is lies, you need to contact the newspapers. 
Next one, Gadir Publications says, mm, Gadir Publications. He has put his face here. Hello, Loy, I want to tell you one fucking shit thing. Uh, you put your photograph with a suit and tie, you put the name of your company, and then you put this. Okay, tell me one fucking shit thing. I went to India on vacation to home country. My mom was looking for a girl for me. Went to the marriage bureau. The fucking shit fact was nobody wants to give their girl to a guy working in <laughs> And you even put your photograph, man. Okay, fine. Next one is Anatoly Kir. P. Chev, Anatoly Kirpi Chev. Okay, he says, I hope his daughter, I hope my daughter, my baby girl, doesn't turn into a shaitan like her father. Totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. I hope my daughter doesn't end up like me. I made a lot of mistakes in life. I had a lot of choices. I had a lot of sex with a lot of, you know, members of the opposite gender. Of course, I would want my daughter to be like me. For once, I agree with you. I'm a shaitan. Okay. Devil Slayer. Okay. D V L S L Y R. Okay. He says, Who the fuck, if you can, who the fuck wants your personal branding? I rather whack my semen on your book. Which book? I have so many books. Okay. How did Jesus Christ give me hell? Yeah. See, the thing is, hiding behind a fake name, hiding behind the anonymity of your uh, computer desktop. Sitting in the four walls of mummy daddy's house. You can talk all big stuff. The real courage is when you show your real face and your real identity. And then you say, whack the book, your semen and Jesus Christ and hell. Yeah. Man, you're acting like a small, small baby, you know. Okay. Anyway, next one. This guy says, I'm a Huawei sales manager supervisor in Dubai. I'm looking for a higher post in sales. I've censored his face. My salary is 3,500. So if you can make a CV, how much do I have to pay? <laughs> the first thing, you know, this is the response I gave. The first thing is, you have stated your company name. Second, you have stated your position. Third, you have put your photograph, actual photograph. Next, you have put your name, your real name. And then you have even put that you're looking out for a job. You have stated your salary. You have given all your details. I mean, my friend, use your common sense here. If someone were to complain to your company, and that also you're a supervisor, you need to be careful, man. What you put online, don't uh, do this. I give him a clue. I said, please send me a message privately so that you don't fall into trouble, you know? But then again, what can you do? Okay, Yash Sharma. Yash Sharma says, hey, you, Shaitan. Hello. Okay. The person is king of you. I mean, Sheikh Mohammed is king of you. He have responsibility of lakhs of people. Say he's Indian. Lakhs means hundreds of thousands. He has so much burden of his country. Please do not disturb or demotivate him. <laughs> I have to admire the love that you have for Sheikh Mohammed. And just for your information, Yash Sharma, Sheikh Mohammed is up there. I am just maybe an ant. He doesn't get disturbed by an ant like me. He is an exceptional leader. He doesn't get demotivated by people's opinions. He is much more tougher than that. You need to give more credit. And I'm just a small channel, Baba, small channel with few people. He is not even going to look in my direction, the direction that my shadow is. And that is irrelevant. The next one is Musharraf Sheikh. He says, if you have missed it before, he says, you deserve it. Talking about my IMAC crashing. Your little stinky daughter sucks too. According to him, my little daughter is stinky. And she poops, she is. I hope this added a bit of fuel in your fire. Oh, yes, it motivated me. Oh, you spoke bad about my daughter. I will not leave you. Yeah. Okay. Hope that helps. Okay. Abid Nish, this guy, he sends a lot of messages. He spends a lot of time on my channel and he hates all my videos, but still he watches. He says, Abhinesh says he's living a good life. He's talking about me. living a good life, but begging money. In our language, there is a saying, Bend tinare sanni nadatak tinare pidatak ding kalvi. I got that. <laughs> I checked with my group. It seems this is in Tulu that says living a good life. And then he's become, he became a beggar. So now he started robbing or became a thief. 
uh, English, Baba English. And why are you putting Faza's photograph as yours? I never understood that. Okay. Uh, then Sheikh Shamsik says that what I did was a gimmick to ask for donations. Hmm, that's a good way of looking at it. If I made millions, well, that's a great gimmick. If I didn't get millions, well, that's a shitty gimmick. I mean, what do I get by telling people someone hacked into my system? Or is it like you believe that nobody can hack? Well, let me give you a news flash. If I ever were to step into UAE, trust me, I'll get arrested on the spot because of my content. Because it, it is kind of revealing the real story of what happens in UAE. You can't do that if you're in UAE. So, yes, in a way, there are people who want to see my downfall. So, if you don't believe that anyone would destroy my system or hack into my email, you're mistaken. Trust me, many people have tried to hack into my YouTube, my Gmail, my Instagram, so many people. Okay, next one. Abdul Wahid Ali says, at least learn something. Okay, he's telling me after my air crash. Stop hate videos against you. These are not hate videos. It's a reality. I'm reading from news links. Okay. Where you have been feeded. Nobody has feeded. Nobody has fed English. English. Abdul Wahid English. Is not feeded for 40 years of your future. For of my life. And nobody gave me charity. I worked my ass off. I was smart, intelligent enough to make money. So nobody gave me a free meal. Okay. No future in YouTube videos. I agree with you. There's no future because it's unpredictable. There's no future what you're doing also. Okay. Do something concrete for your family. Well, I'm doing because my main revenue is not YouTube. My main revenue is personal branding. And so say so that you're remembered for it. Thank you very much, Abdul Wahid. Focus on your life and don't give unsolicited advice. That's what I suggest to you. Abid Nish again says, instead of begging for money and complaining to others, go and work, man. You're healthy and not sick. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm working, man. Thank you, man. Okay. Uh, Abid Nish says, in the name of little Benny girl. I, I don't know what the fuck are you writing. In the name of if little Benny girl. This guy is trying to gain some love. Doing emotional blackmail. Why the hell he can't work? How am I earning if I don't work? Why is he begging? <laughs> please give me. <laughs> please give me. Okay. That is called begging. Always he's complaining about you. I'm not complaining. I'm creating awareness. But if you feel he's complaining, then why are you watching my channel? That's a big question. Okay. There is no job, etc., etc. See, here's the thing. If you were busy doing work, why would you be watching my videos, number one? Why would you commenting on my videos, number two, if you are serious? Because you'll be focused. I think it speaks a little bit about you. Okay. What about him now? Which country are you now? I'm in Thailand. You don't have a job there. I do have a job. How do you think I'm earning? Send your family to your own country. Send your family to your own country. My family... My wife is Thai. She is in her own country. India, it's country. No. I'm an Indian passport holder. Uh, technically, I never stayed in India, but I have an Indian passport. That's unfortunate. So, anyway. I'm not saying it's unfortunate being Indian. It's just that I have an Indian passport, never stayed in India. So, I don't feel this closeness towards India. And, uh, you know, just having the passport doesn't make me... It, it's like... You married to someone, but you never stayed with that person. You are staying with someone else as uh, a lover. You're just married namesake. So does that mean you're married to that person? Okay. Next one. Russ Mus says, con job. Dubai hate video can go so far. Must be it's time to get a real job. Okay. Kashif Kwan says, ha ha. Seek help from UAE. Thank you. Uh, they'll give you some pennies. Uh, well, they have given me not pennies, but tons of money. Uh, you may not believe this, but yes, they do. Your every video, video spelling is wrong, was against them. And it's the only source of income. No, not actually. I make more money through personal branding. Through my videos, I make $150, $47 approximately per month. Uh, beg directly. <laughs> Please give me. <laughs> okay. I hope this makes you happy. Kashif Quen, X and Y told, I told you don't mess with this. Ha, ha, ha emoji. Okay. Stingray, oh my friend Stingray with the sunglasses. He says, Go get a job, why you can't fool people too long. Do some hard work. Chetta. Hmm. Stingray, English name. One dollar's glasses and then Chetta. Okay. Okay, fine. Knowledge strap. All the well, get a fucking head with fucked up tattoos. Okay. Uh, Mansoor Ali says, You deserve it, shit. Nice photograph, Mansoor Ali. Mani Maran says, Biggest scammer. 
will come in news channel never trust him okay imran mohammed says modern begging okay fine all right and last but not the least before i bind up um, there was this question that was asked by one of my clients i thought i'd share it as a public service announcement um, he said loy this company wwics it's a global company they have called me and asked me money for migration should i migrate to canada i told him if a company calls you to sell their migration services they are a fraud because reputed companies never call he showed me the brochure that's claimed that they were doing great stuff well he showed me their website but if you do a little bit of search just a little bit of search you will read uh, complaints about them stating that they are fraud they have lied to their teeth they extort money they take your money and they never deliver uh there was one that says wwics in sarja headquarters with their headquarters in india they took money there's no transparency in their dealing if you google search wwics fraud you'll get to see all these links where they have cheated people so guys uh, i hope this gave you a little bit of value these were the videos in terms of what is happening in uae like i said i always read your comments put your comments down below i always read all of them and if you'd like to support this channel do you know watch the ads do give me a little bit of love you can put your comments you can put a like you can share the videos with someone who will benefit from this and uh, as always get in touch with me if you need personal branding if you need your resume or services uh, in terms of interviews and if you're looking for jobs well if i do know any jobs like i told you i do forward your cvs no charges for that but if you need one to one my expertise my advice my suggestions guidance i charge money for that because i need to feed me myself my wife and my family So thank you guys and thank you for the people who supported me when my system got hacked and uh, they contributed I really appreciate this is me signing off for now take care